Hi guys, it is a gloomy, stormy day here in the end times in Babylon as the next line of whatever this is barrels towards Austin, Texas. Uh, we are going, it's Thursday, May 7th. I am bored out of my skull because I can't go anywhere on my gas so I can bite because of the oncoming storm. So I'm just sitting here talking to myself today since I got no one else on the planet who wants to listen to a word I have to say about anything. So I'm talking to myself, but if you want to sit in on my thoughts, uh, what I'm going to do in this rant is head down to Peru and uh, as to the Peruvian Amazon in, in particular. And uh, I start every rant I have on the Peruvian Amazon by letting you know I still have a place for sale. I still have my place for sale in the Peruvian Amazon and the price on it now today, $6,000. You can buy my little house on three acres of land in the Peruvian Amazon. But anyway, we're going to go down there to this being a, at one time I thought I was going to be an expat moving to Peru. So I joined this expat Peruvian American newspaper called Peru This Week, living in Peru. So, uh, they send me, each week I get my updates about living in Peru this week. So what is going on down in Peru this week? Peru on the front line of battle to save forests. A new analysis released last week by international conservation group World Wildlife Fund warns that the Peruvian Amazon is being destroyed faster than ever. World Wildlife Fund's Living Forests report urges prompt action saying the country, meaning Peru, is part of the biggest deforestation front on the planet. The main culprits, it says, are palm oil, logging, and mining, both lawful and unlawful. It makes no difference whether palm oil, logging, and mining are lawful or unlawful. If, if, if you're unlawfully doing it, I'm sure you can get a permit. Anyway, if deforestation is not curbed, uh, the report says, the World Wildlife Fund report says, more than one quarter of the Peruvian Amazon is likely to be devoid of tree cover in just 15 years, in 2030, with 40% gone by mid-century. Uh, in 2013, I love this one, a, a study of Peru's tourism competitiveness by the World Economic Forum encouraged the country to, quote, intensify efforts to ensure its environmental sustainability. Peru's efforts to ensure environmental sustainability. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Uh, despite some new national parks and better laws, as well as rising public awareness, protection of natural resources remains a relative weakness. Relative weakness. That was bullshit. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, well, relative to, I guess everything's relative to something else. Okay. Peru's biodiversity is world famous in a major draw card for international visitors with tourism 
a growing slice of the country's economic pie, only Brazil and Colombia have more plant and animal species. World Wildlife Fund says that hydroelectric dams and roads are an added new threat, opening up previously hard to get to areas to mining, logging, and agriculture, namely palm oil. This new railway of the jungle, which runs from Peru through Ecuador to Colombia, together with the new interoceanic highway from the Pacific to the Atlantic coast, are projected to bring about the loss of nearly 125 million acres, 125 million acres of forest, mostly the Amazon rainforest, by 2030 and 250 million acres of Amazon rainforest by 2050. This is according to these World Wildlife Fund projections. If with business as usual down there in Peru, you can look forward to 250 million acres of Amazon jungle hitting the ground. <clears throat> World Wildlife Fund says reversing this decline will not happen by accident and means finding ways to decouple economic growth from environmental destruction. Quote, it will require a huge collective advocacy, advocacy effort along with policy changes by government and industry. Caution detected. Take precaution. Policy changes by the Peruvian government and industry. Scientists say deforestation is putting many wildlife species only years away from the point of no return on the path to extinction. So anyway, so I emailed this uh, story to my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Rhett Butler, uh, the head of mongabay.com for that maybe he wanted to mention this in his environmental newsletter which I will be going over tomorrow and he emailed me back he had a he put a big question mark and said Hambone this article is factless this article is factless he saw nothing of interest in that article to share on mongabay.com. And so anyway, we had some related articles. Here is Peruvian, in Peru, mining companies, meaning uh, multinational global mining companies out to weaken Peru's environmental regulator. Yes, uh, I bet. Uh, and, well, the one, then the link over to this story from none other than The Guardian. So, what is The Guardian, you know, from England having to say about Peru this week? Peru this week, according to The Guardian, how about this one? Peru planning highway through the most biodiverse place on Earth. And this is not the interoceanic highway, which is already completed. This is just the newest 
wet dream of the planet eaters getting uh, the full green light from the Peruvian government. This new highway from hell going right smack dab through the middle of the most biodiverse place on planet Earth. Manu National Park and its buffer zone in Peru was international news early last year after scientists found it is top of the world's list of natural protected areas, at least in terms of amphibian and reptile diversity uh, beating, I love this beating off, I think they meant to say beating out stiff competition from Yasuni National Park. What these new reports did not acknowledge, not surprisingly, are the immense threats now facing Manu National Park, a UNESCO biosphere reserve in the southeast Peruvian Amazon where UNESCO states that biodiversity, quote, exceeds that of any other place on Earth. The first such threat to the park itself is from oil and gas exploration and exploitation. For years, Manu has been believed to hold significant hydrocarbon deposits and numerous oil and gas industry maps depict undrilled prospects lying under the park. Uh, this was a major focus of my own book. Uh, from 2009 Peruvian plunge when I was down there in Manu National Park's buffer zone looking at the exploits of Hunt Oil Company. Okay, and they talk about a lot what I, what I talked about in my own book. Uh, still going on about all of these choppers flying all around the jungle blah, 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 but another arguably more serious threat than even oil exploration is the extension of the southern branch dubbed PE5S of the National Jungle Highway Network, which has been being built since the 1960s. Uh, this is, let's see, a thousand kilometers, about 650 mile jungle uh, highway, about 10% of which has been paved to date. Another 50 miles is now dirt, and the other 600 miles under development. And then you can you can click on this uh, this map, this planet-eating map, showing this highway ramming right through the middle of where I was reporting from in 2009. Uh, the bottom line: what this highway would mean is running right through Manu Park as well as penetrating deep into a supposedly intangible reserve for indigenous people living in isolation, uh, entering several supposedly protected natural areas, uh, on and on, uh, the first steps toward this highway extension immediately west of the park in its buffer zone have effectively already been taken. And on the other side of the park, to the east and south, things are moving along. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the highway in 2013 was declared by the Peruvian Congress a public necessity of national interest. There you go. A uh, public necessity 
And this just goes on and on. It really makes me want to puke. Uh, as scientists and many others have emphasized building roads into fragile environments such as tropical forests such as the Amazon can have particularly devastating impacts. <sighs> you know, not only are they looking at the, the critters, but also the devastating impacts on all of these various indigenous people uh, living in isolation. And don't forget the other a list of the usual suspects, uh, logging, cocaine, trafficking, and even people looking for archaeological remains, including a lost Inca city. Oh, Jesus. On and on. Uh, finally, it is essential to point out that the park's buffer zone has already been opened up to gas exploration and exploitation for years. And they finish up with the uh, antagonist of, from my book from 2009, Hunt Oil Company. Uh, finally, the Ministry of Transport and Communications, the Ministry of Energy and Mines, Peru's Oil Company, and Hunt Oil Company from the good old state of Texas did not respond to the Guardian's request for comment. And then the Guardian related content. I'm going to put the link to the story I just read. And if you want to read any of the following stories, here you go. You got plenty to choose from. Does Europe's cocaine habit mean massacring uncontacted indigenous people? The answer to that question is yes, it does. Which is more of a notional park, Virunga or Yasuni? They're in, they're in a head-to-head -head tie. Here is more than 400 hydroelectric dams planned for the Amazon. Here is U.S. oil and gas firm Hunt Oil urged to suspend it's Amazon Exploration. Urging Hunt Oil to get out of the Amazon. Let's see, speaking of Hunt Oil, here is two lawsuits to stop Peru's biggest gas project inside indigenous reserve. Here is China Development Bank proposal for oil drilling in Ecuador. Here is Peru blocks plan for new indigenous reserve as oil production starts, meaning if it's between uh, indigenous people or oil companies, guess who's to going to win that one? Spreading out a little farther around Latin America, we have Honduras is now the world's number one for killing environmental activists. Here is Can Peru Stop ethical chocolate from destroying the Amazon and do not forget palm oil firms in Peru 
plan to clear about in this one project 50,000 acres of primary rainforest 50,000 acres today 250 million acres by 2050 and what is true for Peru is true for every single tropical forest on this planet. But since I understand that I am now completely talking to myself, I guess I will just say, bye Hambone. <laughs>